Hey guys, it's Laura Godwin, your Sensi Superstar Director. Welcome to day 12 of Leap to Lead. So there's a lot of things that I want to do today, so I want to get right to it. And today's going to be a huge, huge day for you, and you're going to grow by leaps and bounds just today. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so um, I'm going to use my super special book to walk you through um, a few more names to add to your list of 100, so grab that notebook. And I'm going to say some categories and maybe it will jog your memory of more people that you can add to your list. All right, remember, even if you have gotten to your 100, don't stop there. Please don't stop there. You are on the verge of super awesomeness. So keep going, okay? So we're going to start with D. Yeah, so the D's, ready? Do you know someone who attends a dance club? Do you know someone that's a daughter? A daughter-in-law? Someone from daycare? A delivery person? And don't be afraid to pause me as I say these names because it might not come back to you if you don't write it down now. A dental nurse? A dentist? A doctor? Someone that walks their dog? Drama club member? Um, a drama coach, someone who gets their clothes dry cleaned. All right, ease, electrician, someone from your email list, an empty nester, someone who's engaged, an ex neighbor, an ex coworker, F, Facebook friends, fast food workers, someone who's a father. A first homeowner, a fitness coach, a flight attendant. Do you know someone who's a florist, a football mom? All right, what about a former customer, a former direct seller, former host, former neighbors, a friendly person, a fun person, someone who's on a fundraising committee? Geez. Do you know someone who gardens, a girl guide leader, a golf club enthusiast, or someone who's a part of a golf club, grandparents, someone that you have seen in the grocery store. Go through your guest list. These are things like maybe your child's birthday parties and baby showers, different cookouts that you have at the house. Go through those lists and write those names down. Gym instructor, gym members. Let's do H, hairdresser. Happy person, someone who's a hard worker, someone that you know that's a member of a health club, a health coach, an herbalist, someone that you knew from high school, a host, a hotel receptionist, someone who is a house sitter, a housemaid, someone that works with your husband, and maybe a hygienist. So we'll stop with the H's. I hope that that has helped you kind of brainstorm some and get some new ideas for um, your list of 100. Um, remember, this list should be kind of a list in progress. You're always gonna be building upon it and you know changing it and adding to it and oh, it's gonna be fun. So that list is very important. Your notebook is super important. We've talked about that before, but I really wanna drive out home it is. All right, so today is the day. Ooh, it's going to be so exciting. So what I want you to do is to take this list, this very important list, and I do not want you to re-ask the people that you ask um, towards the end of last month. Remember, I challenged you to, um, you know, get your 10 catalogs out there and your tester sets. Remember, I don't want you to ask those same people. I want you to choose a new 10 from your list and I want you to ask them to host a basket party. Now, we've already gone over what a basket party is. I loved seeing so many of your fun variations on the basket party because remember, there's no one perfect way to do it. Everyone's is different. Um, I love seeing them, by the way, but um, I want you to ask 10 people. I'm gonna put an optional script in the comment section. You don't have to use it. But if you'd like to, if it makes you feel more comfortable, then you're welcome to. Now, um, what I do is I call my uh, tester sets, I'm sorry, my basket parties, I call them my employees. So here is one of my employees. It's just a bank bag that I have repurposed into a Scentsy basket party. And there's plenty of room for catalogs to fit nicely in here. Order forms fit perfectly in here, as well as 
not all 80, but a good bit of the testers. So I can get probably 50 mini testers in here. Now, the, the thing you may be asking yourself is, Laura, um, you're asking me to ask 10 people to host a basket party, but I don't have 10 baskets parties made up, and that's totally fine. Here's another one of my little employees. Now, I call these employees because they are making me money. They're running around town doing what I can't do or don't have time to do. And so I'm not making any money at all if my basket, my employees, um, if they're here in my home. And so my goal is to get these bad boys out and on the road and doing their job. Here's my one of my oil basket parties. Isn't it so cute? So it just has the, um, the oil fragrance thingy and then a mini of every single oil that we sell. So um, I give these to the people that are more interested in the oils and not maybe the entire test, you know, uh, wax samples. So anyway, um, my little employees, I set a personal goal for every single week to have one basket party out the door working for me. And I do not feel good about myself if I have tons of basket parties sitting around my home because they're not making me any money. I want to challenge you. Get to that list. Pick 10 people. Ask them. Use the script if you have to. Ask them to host a basket party during our sale this month and try your best to get a basket party booked for every single week. That means one a week. I would love for you to get two a week. Um, but you do have to think about how many baskets you have to make this work. Every time you book a basket party. I want you to write the word ding on this post in Facebook because we're all going to be pulling for you and sharing for you as you book parties um, for this month. I want you to write these words so that we all know that you just scored a basket party for February. I am really pulling for you guys. This is going to be getting out of your comfort zone, using what I've taught you for the last 12 days, putting it to good use, and really getting yourself out there Parties are the fastest way to 500. Trust me on this. Basket parties are the easy, easiest parties to host. So let's make it happen. I believe in you. You're shooting for one basket party per week in the month of February. And every time you book one, even if it's two a week, you should put ding in the comment section. You have to book at least one basket party to be able to be um, completed with this assignment. I, want you, I do not want you to stop with one. I'm just saying that I want you to keep asking until you get at least one, and I want you to posting when you get there. Good luck, let's blow it up. You are amazing, believe it, and let's dream it and do it.